Hello everyone. So today I want to use Fiji image J for analyzing a fully politic microstructure. I want to measure the um, features, their their length, their thickness, as well as the interparticle spacing. And let's see how we can do it in Fiji image J. So I've downloaded and installed the software and what I will do is I will open up my um, microstructure that I want to work on so this is my microstructure so the first thing that I want to do is I want to set the scale for this I will select this straight line I will press shift and scroll in to this scale on the bottom of the image I will then press shift and then make a straight line like this. So now this line is one micrometers or 1000 nanometers. And what I will do is analyze, click on analyze and set scale. And here I will say that the known distance is 1000 nanometers. Okay. And then I will click here to remove this line and then I will press shift and scroll back to the original size now the size of the image is and the, the scale of the image is selected what I want to do now is I want to capture this middle area I want to get rid of this lower uh, belt where all the information is written so what I will do is I will select this box uh, start it from here go until here and then I will say right click duplicate so it will ask me the title of the duplicate and will give me this duplicate I can click this to make it bigger so now I have this image in bigger size and now I will work on it so the first thing that I want to do with this image is I want to convert into 8-bit just in case it is already 8-bit but I just clicked it once again to make sure that it is in grayscale the next thing that I want to do is I want to adjust the brightness and contrast okay so here I can see that my brightness the, my, I can see the histogram of the image and then I will just move it to adjust to this and then just remove the last few areas and you can see that my image has transformed significantly and I can now see the cementite lamella in my microstructure more clearly that are uh, much white and the other part is uh, much gray right and that is what I wanted to accomplish by setting this brightness and contrast so once it is set I will press apply and I will click OK and the next thing that I want to do is um, I want to process it and um, sharpen it a little so the features get a little bit more pronounced and, and, and improved so I will sharpen it a little and then what I want to do is I want to go in image adjust and click on threshold and here I will adjust the threshold of my features so what I will do is I will go down on this threshold a little to make sure that I am selecting all the adequate features and the inadequate features are being filtered out yeah so I see that most of the lamella here are more or less their thickness is captured at, at, at this threshold I see a little bit here below this yeah somewhere here okay so when I press apply it, it adjusts it adjusts the threshold and then I can close it okay so we generally see this it is it is pretty neat but we also see some features which we do not want to add in our final results for example a feature here or a feature here and what I will do is I will select this um, uh, paint tool and I will just remove this feature what I can also do is I can right click and increase the size of this brush to quickly remove this feature 
but you have to be very careful because it can also remove some of the main features that you are interested in looking at so yeah be careful when you're using the brush but in any case that's where we are and I can just look at the image so now we already have the lamella here so the next step that we want to accomplish is we want to measure them and to measure them let me just clean it a little bit more okay so to measure them what we have is we have here analyze and analyze particles and here we can set the minimum size and the maximum size of the particles of course we can use it to um, account for all these fine specs we don't want to measure them we just want to measure the large lamella as well as the circularity um, yeah, we will keep the circularity but the size we can maybe set to 500 nanometer square onwards if this is justified only then measure it otherwise don't um, we want to display results we want to um, clear the previous results and for showing we want to see the the outlines of the particles right now before executing this um, or let, let's execute this and see the results okay you see these results I see that most of the lamella are covered and the fine particles are not covered there this is the smallest particle which is measured and these are some small particles which are measured so generally seems 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 good and then I have all my results here in this window uh, with area XY parameter major minor and I will just show you how to add, how to um, um, fine-tune which parameters do you want to measure but in any case what I will do is I will also select um, summarize so all the results are summarized at the bottom of this file and uh, yeah that's it then I will just uh, start saving these files I have already created a system so uh, so I will just save them according to that but you can save them as you like File save as diff and I want to save it as mm, particles And then I want to save this image as is and now what I also want to do is I want to save the ellipses for which it measured all the shapes so I will just click on analyze particles once again I will click on ellipses show ellipses and then I will click again okay so now it shows me all the ellipses for which it is measuring all these results and I also want to save this file as ellipses okay so now um, what you can now so in the analyze uh, you can also see set measurements and this is where you set all the measurements you want to make for all these particles um, you can check them if you want to add these measurements and you can um, check them off if you do not want to measure them you also set the decimal places for the significant figures and you can also redirect yourself to different images after uh, the measurement has been done but I have checked these for my measurements as only the uh, length of the ellipse and the thickness of the ellipse is important for me now I also want to measure the interparticle spacing and for that I have to do it manually what I will do here is I will just select this line and I will just draw this line between the wall of two particles to two lamella and then I will press M so it will measure it here in this window um, all the other values are not important for me this length parameter is important 
so I will keep on adding points here so what I have done is I have observed that more than 50 points for my measurements are adequate and therefore I just want to get a statistical value of interlamella spacing from my file so I will keep on drawing lines from wall to wall and pressing M so that I have a value for interlamella spacing throughout my sample so then now I will move to another area to collect some more points because to be more statistically accurate and you can see that it is a relatively rough faster process but gives me adequate results also um, one pixel does not signify too much for um, the length and therefore it is okay if one pixel more or one pixel less is selected per measurement otherwise what I can also do is I can press shift for example here I see there is a fine lamella and I want to measure them more accurately I can press shift and zoom in by using my um, middle mouse button and then I can just continue doing the same so now I have more control over what am I measuring and how I am measuring it so yeah let's see how many values we have got yeah so we've got 35 values until now and I'll just continue to measure a few more until we get around 60 values in our file so yeah you will see that the file is slowly populating up you can also measure this is a manual way of measuring um, in uh, in Fiji image J so you can also use this technique to measure other features if you are interested in them so, uh, yeah so we have collected 50 points I will just collect a few more to be more statistically accurate to make sure and I can scroll up I think this will be the last one this will be the last one okay and then I click on results I click on um, summarize and then it will summarize the results again and I can in the end see that the mean um, um, uh, interlamella spacing measured as length is 139.2 nanometers for this for this material this case specifically and then I can click file save as and I can then save this file as um, a text file so is my data saved and if I click on this I can quickly show you what it looks like so if I will open up this ILS file you will see that all the values are written here and I'm interested in these last values of length and in the stats file um, what we also have this is the ILS file and in the stats file you will see all the other values written for every label which I'm interested in and this is something that then I can process using any data processing tool or software so yeah so this is how you can measure interlamella spacing for politic microstructures using Fiji image as well as other features of the lamella like their length and their thicknesses quite accurately and quickly